Hello everybody, this is Prashant Solomon. How are you doing today? Today we're going to talk about what happens to people on the other side. What do they actually do when they cross over from this world into the next world? We have a lot of accounts from different near-death experiences and from people who remember their lives between lives because of regression. We have people who have communicated with spirits who have moved on to the other side who are called as mediums. And we get a pretty good idea of what goes on on the other side. Well, the first thing that I want to tell you is that every spirit that has communicated or every any person who has remembered a near-death experience the first thing that they all unanimously agree on because I've yet to see a single case where people say different things on this particular issue they say that the first thing that they realize is that they, they've gone home and the second is that the other side, as we call it, is actually a lot more real than this physical world is. So it's kind of like when you have a dream and you wake up from the dream and you you look back at the dream and you think, okay, that was just a dream, now this is reality. So it's very similar when a soul makes the transition from this physical world into the next world. They sort of look back at this physical world and this physical life that has just gone by and they say that that was like a dream or that was like sort of an act or it was something that we were experiencing but it was not the actual reality the reality is there so the first thing that we should understand is that our true identity is that of spiritual beings who are currently here having a human experience and the experience that we're having is meant to make us learn, to make us grow, to make us evolve. And those teachings, those learnings, that evolution is actually meant for our soul, which is going to live beyond this current life on the other side. Now, coming back to what we were originally talking about, what do people or souls or spirits, what do we do on the other side? Well, from what we've heard, there are lots of things you can do. So you don't really have a job job in the sense that, you know, there's no money, so you're not going to make any money, but you can continue to do what you enjoy doing. So there are, there are some souls who are caregivers to others. So they, they assist new, newly arrived souls who have, may have faced some serious trauma on earth and they need some sort of help, some sort of relief, some sort of healing on the other side. So you have people who are souls who help the newly arrived people to come. Then you also have guides. You have guides who assist souls in their spiritual planning of lives, in their spiritual evolution. So perhaps some of us, when we make the transition, and if you reached a certain level of advancement or spiritual evolution, you could also become a guide. Then you have people who do other sort of work, like so there, there are schools there. So if there are schools, there are classrooms, so there, obviously there will be a teacher. So you have some people who are teachers, some people who are um, perhaps working in the libraries there, or just living out their, their desires, because we still will have desires when we go to the other side. But it's just that those desires are pretty much realized immediately. So just like in a dream, when you start dreaming of something, you start thinking that that's the reality. And on the other side, it's very similar. So if you want to have an experience, you want to go somewhere, you can actually just go there. You can travel there immediately in, a, in just thought. Your thoughts become reality. And that is why there's so much of emphasis given on controlling our thoughts, what we think. It's very important while we're here in this physical world to learn that what we think has a consequence, what we think has a result of some kind. Uh, you may not see it immediately, but it is there. You know, if you desire something truly and if you have it, put it forth in the proper way, 
perhaps you realize that. So in the other side, that happens very quickly and almost instantaneously. Uh, you have all kinds of events going on. People play games there. People watch, uh, you know, concerts there. People uh, visit planetariums there. And those planetariums are very different from what we have on Earth because they actually have information about billions and billions and billions of other galaxies and planets and stars. Um, by the way, all the stuff that I'm telling you are, are based on videos that I've watched on YouTube where people have been interviewed and they have actually given these accounts. Uh, you also have soul families, soul groups, and generally those soul groups will keep on incarnating again and again with each other. Another very interesting concept I've read about is about the fact that there's no time on the other side. So. They say that everything is happening simultaneously there. So it's like your past, your present, and your future are all happening simultaneously and they're all accessible um, when you're in the spirit form. You can also see alternate realities of your own lifetime. So for example, if you have to make an important decision in life, let's say, all right, let's just take an example. You're driving down the road and there's a T-point so you can either take a left or a right, and you say you take the left, and then your life moves in a particular way. So there you will also see what would happen if you had taken the right instead. Maybe that would have, that would have led to a different chain of circumstances, a different life. So that's just an example. Of course, um, you know, it's probably more important things than that. It could be things like, what would have happened if I had married this person instead of that person? Or what if, I had moved to this particular city and not lived in my own city where I am now. Or what if I had done a different course in school or whatever, you know what I'm trying to say? There are different kind of possibilities that can happen on earth based on the decisions that we make day to day. And irrespective of what you decided in your current life, you there's you will also see what would have happened if you had taken another another route instead, another direction instead. And you know, this all ties up to other things that we, we've heard about uh, these days, things like, um, you know, um, the, the many worlds hypothesis where every decision you make creates like a new reality somewhere, like a different universe in some different universe somewhere. So, you know, you will actually see not just possibilities but they're like parallel things that are happening all right so i know it's very it's it's not very easy for us humans in our current physical form to understand this because we think linearly we think of time as a straight line whereas what what we've heard is that time actually doesn't even exist on the other side it's a very time is a very earthly physical concept and ultimately we keep coming back to earth because we want to keep experiencing we want to keep learning growing and as i've mentioned in different videos earth is not the only place that you can go you can go to other planets as well and um, you know you also will meet your departed loved ones i know a lot of you have asked me questions and it's very natural we all love our loved ones and if we lose them it's a very natural human process to feel sad or feel grief but I hope it gives you some relief to know that from what I know and what I've read and heard is that we will actually all meet our loved ones on the other side, even if they have reincarnated. Because, um, you know, it's we never bring our full soul with us here. We leave a large part of our soul on the other side before we come here. And there's a very small part of our soul that's currently in this body and our bodies and that's experiencing. But the, the majority of our soul is still on the other side. So if when you cross over, even if your loved one has reincarnated, the bulk of their soul is still there. So you, you will still be able to interact. And um, maybe it'll also give you comfort to know that uh, it's you will meet your loved ones not just from this life but even your previous lives or perhaps even future lives because from what we're hearing past 
present and future lives are, are, are kind of happening simultaneously. Now, that's, that's something that's not very easy for us to understand, but that is what, you know, the, the, the messages that are coming. Most of the videos I watch on YouTube, which interviews of people who have had these experiences. This is one of the things that a lot of people are talking about these days is that there's no time and that everything is happening simultaneously. So I would give an example of Disneyland. If you've been to Disneyland, you know that there are different sort of themes there. Like you have Tomorrowland, you have Frontierland, you have, um, you know, the, the, the different lands there. I don't remember exactly, but it's like they depict different periods of history happening there. Like there's Western, there's future, you know, like, like those kind of things so so basically it's like it's similar to that things are happening simultaneously and when you choose a life uh, you can also choose the time period and, it, and it's like so if we're living right now in the year 2023 right now when this video is being recorded and you you decide to come back to earth it's not necessary that you will have to come your lives will be linearly progressing in time uh, suppose you want to go back into say you know the, the middle ages or you want to go even further back or you want to go into the 19th century 20th century or maybe or even the future you have that choice so it's there's sort of like different themes available kind of like video games you have video games which are futuristic you have video games that could be based on like the age of empires uh, you know back in the day like the romans greek times so so the whole concept is that earth is a place that our souls come to to experience and perhaps it is designed in such a way that uh, time can exist simultaneously so you actually choose where you want to go so from the earth point of view it looks like a straight line but actually it's not um, so yeah those are some of the things i wanted to share with you today and if you have any ideas, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment and I will try my best to get back to you immediately. If you have ideas about different videos that you would like me to make in the future, if you have any specific thing that you want to know about the afterlife and, you know, perhaps I'll do some research and make a video of it. And in the meantime, if you have not subscribed to this channel, I, I I request you to subscribe and if you've liked this video, please like it and share it with others. Thank you very much and have a great day.